Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to Gemcraft Frostborn Wrath. So, I want to figure out exactly what's going on with the extra endurance waves. Um, in the last episode, we discovered that when you beat endurance, you get an additional five wave stones. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what they apply to. So, we just look at the main overview. It says six waves. So this one, uh, let's see, what, where's one that I know I have not beaten endurance? Um, so this says 28 waves. If I go to endurance, um, I don't see a way to get the number of waves. Let's just start the battle real quick. Well, that is not what I was expecting. So 28 waves, but then in endurance, it's 45. That makes no sense to me. Because uh, it was giving me five wave stones at a time. Oh, it says right there what the length is. 45 waves. All right. Uh, let's get out of this. Oh. Oh, okay. So all of my endurance modes are 45 waves. Well, that makes this really easy. So the number of waves that the field has is of no consequence. So I think it started out at 20, and I must have beaten it five times, and so now we have a, we have plus 25 waves. Um, I don't think this causes extra waves. I just want to make sure I understand exactly how it works, and then um, we'll decide what to do. I'm uh, really happy about the fact that these fields are starting to give me a little bit of trouble. Um, one of my fears going into this was that the was that the whole thing would just be too easy um, very quickly, and that's not the case yet. Um, and we've already played several hours. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Okay, the last thing I want to check is I want to go to a field that I know I've beaten in Endurance. I just want to replay it in Endurance, and we're going to take all this off. We're just going to quickly try to beat it. Although, I don't know. Um, 45 waves is starting to get pretty long. It might not be very fast. Uh, but what I would like to establish um, is essentially, let me go ahead and uh, figure out how I want to do this. We'll put these here to make sure they get into range. And I should be able to force them to come back into range again there. Once that's upgraded a little bit, it will have those be in range. And then for this one, we'll force them into range there. And then again there. All right, well, in a little bit we'll have enough mana to do that. Once I get this uh, set up and I'm happy with it, we will... Uh, 
uh, start speeding this up a little bit. I'm not even sure I'm going to need a second. Yeah, okay. So let's just speed this up. Um, and once I have any 100, I can upgrade that. Let this get to level 4. That apparition out, get a few free shadow cores while I'm doing this. Alright, we can grab a copy of this. Hoping that two grade six gems will be able to handle most of what's coming at this point. Uh, I might even be able to get one of these up to grade seven by the time we're done here. Alright, so really all I want to know is if I beat away if I beat a field in endurance that I've already beaten in endurance, do I get the wave stones? It looks like I do. So this is this can just be farmed up on one map, essentially. Um, I don't know if there's a reason to do that yet. Uh, because for right now, I probably just want to focus on... Yeah, these are some pretty sorry fragments. Um, on getting experience and getting more talisman fragments. Alright, so now that I understand how that works, let's take a look at my options here. This has a locked wizard stash. So I think I'm going to tackle this one. And I don't want to make it too hard, so I'm just going to stick with just the one trait. Another thing I've thought about off-camera some is that I should really consider... Um, trying to vary my strategies and see what I can do with the lanterns. But they just shoot so slowly that I think I need a lot more skill points so that I can um, upgrade them to be able to target more things at once before they're going to be too worthwhile. Alright, now I had a thought for what I can do here. Which is, I should be able to... Um, Um, this. And now I can create two towers that both have access to four amplifiers. Let's go ahead and break those. Um, I think I'm going to do crit and armor tearing. And I'm not going to worry about populating the amplifiers just yet. Um, and I believe what I decided is... 
I want to force them to come down here first. Alright. Let's just focus on having this upgraded first. I'm actually worried that I might already be at the point where... Uh, I guess I'll use amplifiers. That should help this gem out a bit. Alright, let's just see how the first part of this goes. Um, I think I tried this before once, and... Yeah, there's just so many monsters. Um, it's unclear if this is really going to work. I think what I'll do is, just when these start to get past, I'll redirect everything. And that should give me just enough. Uh, actually, I can upgrade this at a thousand. So, let's go ahead and redirect now. And then when those get through, I should have time to upgrade this. Actually, I could have upgraded it at any time because, of course, I have access to that. And let's go ahead and finish setting up the amplifiers. And probably at about the point where I should start making my maze. Um, I think I need to have another gem firing on these guys. These cost 320 to duplicate. Alright, so that has a huge range. Make him target swarmlings. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any mana for... walls right now. I can get past this initial part. I guess it doesn't really ma- oh, uh, I think I might be dead. I spent way too much mana. Yeah. Um, alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna restart this. Uh, I guess I need to select that again. And I think what I'll do is focus on getting these amplifiers populated. We're going to wall this off, and then I'm going to go ahead and set up the longer route for them. Probably want to get one of these to level 3 first, just for the stronger enemies. And we can go ahead and start doing... Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then basically, I'm just going to direct them down here. So keep them in range of these towers for a lot longer. Need to find a gap in the monsters here. Alright. Uh, that's enough for now. Let's go ahead and get one of these in here. Then when the swarmlings start to come, that's when I'll block this off when things um, start to get overwhelming. Um, I can also do... I just set that to deal with swarmlings.
All right, here comes a big wave again. Let's go ahead and stem the tide now. And let's make that also target swarmlings. And I think what I'm going to do is block this off. Okay, this is going much better. I'm gonna go ahead and let my mana pool level up for a bit. Looks like I could have uh, been a little more careful there. All right. Um, let's get this leveled up to deal with any strong ones. I set it to anything um, highest cost. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can really get this underway. We have plenty of mana for building these walls. All right, that's gonna keep them in range of that for a long time now. Already upgrade this again. Oh, um, I need to start working on this. I still have over half the waves left, so this isn't a critical mistake. Set these to structures so I don't have to target it. And let's get this upgraded and make sure you can take that guy out. Oh, actually need to target it. Yeah, this is gonna be done really quickly. Uh, looks like these are not finishing these off, so let's upgrade this, and let's get this upgraded a couple of times. Right, let's go ahead and do it for all of it, and we can get those. Alright, now this is actually working on the stash as well, because it's in range now. I think it is, at least. As soon as the shield is up, that should open almost instantly. Yep, there it goes. That is a lot of swarmlings. Um, let's see. Guess it wouldn't hurt to... Oh, I can't fit a tower in there. You can do a couple of lower grade gems in towers off to the side here. Let's get these upgraded to four, and those can target swarmlings as well. All right.
Alright, I think the next step is to upgrade these grade 6 gems into grade 7, and we'll probably be finishing the map sometime around then. I'm going to start to call waves early. Uh, I think we've got it well in hand at this point. Cost for this is 8,600. Looks like they are getting further than I expected. Oh my goodness, that is so many swarmlings. Well, if we lose, it's not the end of the world. Let me just put another bolt enhancement on that. A lot of swarmlings, but they probably have really low cost for banishment. Hmm. Yeah, these might just be getting so powerful that I can't beat them. Uh, but we're so close to the end, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I still get experience for endurance mode. And probably a lot of it, I would guess. I think this is going to kill me. All those getting through. Not quite, but I should be dead soon when they come through a second time. Uh, I guess I can put a bolt enhancement on that. Yeah, they're just a bit too strong for my towers. Definitely not surviving this. <laughs> so many swarmlings. 20,000 killed. Ooh, nice. Okay, this is actually really going to help, I think. Being able to build amplifiers. Alright. Didn't actually see... Yeah, 31,000 experience for that, and I think I just gained like three or four levels. All right, we need another map like that. This one, I believe... This is actually an excellent target to try to do something really extreme on because the path is so long. And I have a lot of options. Um, let's put at least five levels in this. It's just a question of whether I want to go up to ten. I don't think I'm ready to invest in any of these other things yet. But, um, for this attempt that I'm about to make, I'll probably have one kill tower with a bunch of amplifiers around it. I think I'm going to take this up to level 10, just to make the amplifiers slightly better. I don't know how much the amplifiers cost. They might cost um, prohibitively much, but let's try this. I think I said I'm going to do this one. I still don't want to mess around with this. So let's do Endurance. Let's go all out on this one. It's probably going to be pretty hard at the beginning. But if I can get it... ...organized properly. I think I have access to, um... ...Mana Steel on this one. Yeah, I have Crit and... ...Mana Leeching. Got a bunch of achievements just for having general stuff. Okay, so amplifiers start out at 400. This is actually going to require quite a bit of planning. Because um, what I would like to do... I think if I demolish this wall... Then there will be room... Um, I could also make them come around the other way. So, in the past, they had taken this route. And then... 
that was basically it. So I could instead make them go this way, and around here and down, and around here, and then out this way. And then I could make them come across here. Okay, so I think that's going to be my goal. Start off with a bunch of mana gems. Um, I'm going to populate all these traps just to get some free mana coming in. Do the same thing with all these towers. Might even upgrade these to grade 2. Uh, these are going to give point, about point 0.4 per hit. Um, at a cost of 51. So those will pay for themselves really quickly. Um, if I upgrade them, they'll take longer to pay off. So I might do it in the early to mid game. Let's see, it's, um, oh, it's actually 0.7 in the traps. So I might upgrade the ones in the traps, um, relatively early if I think I can afford to. Um, and I should have actually done this first. I'm gonna throw a gem bomb right here, because if this one wall, I think I'm gonna eventually want to get rid of. Um, and so I just want to do it now in case I mess something up. Oh, actually, I'm glad I did that. I don't think they can path. No, they can path there, I think. Uh, I wish there was a way for me to tell. Yeah, they can path there. All right, I wish I had... Um... ...done that first. So the idea here is I just need a little more room. Seriously? That didn't destroy them? Sorry about the slow start here. Okay, so the idea is I want them to be able to come up and around here. But I also want to have room to fully... Um, surround this tower with um, some amplifiers. This is going to be my late game kill tower. So while I'm thinking about it, we can just go ahead and throw one wall back there. And let's see. So we're going to do all of this again. Get all of our mana gems in place. We need three more. I'm going to do dual crit and mana steel. And let's see, I'm probably going to want uh, just one for right now. This should take out most of the trash. Um, And now, let's see. So they're not going to be able to get through here, eventually. So... I'm also not going to be able to make use of this central area. That's fine, though. So they're going to come up and around here, so I'm going to have to wall off up here. Um, right now I'll let them come through here. So then they're going to come this way. And I can eventually force them to go through here and around and up this way. 
Let's see, is there any advantage to doing that, though? I guess I'm going to make them go over here and up. And then straight across. So the only thing I need to do right now... ...is prevent them from coming in here. And... I'll wall this off probably with an amplifier pretty early on. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go down and around here and through this way, so I have to make sure they don't come in here. So I guess I can just place a wall here. Yep, that should work. Okay, I believe that's going to be good enough for now. Um, I probably want to force them to come into the right here. Just so they get by that tower. So we'll do that. Let's get this upgraded as much as possible. Just one. And let's finally get started here. Um, okay, so it looks like they are clearing some of these out. Getting a fair amount of mana uh, without really killing many monsters. That is a lot of stuff coming in though. Um, hopefully this gem is up to the task. I really just need to, I think, I think the best strategy here is just try to save up to a thousand and get this upgraded. Um, okay, that one is going to pick up this uh, thing. Actually, let's, um, let's waste 28 mana walling this off. I really need them to come up and around the other way. And then let's get this upgraded. Now, I think my top priority now is just to get a second gem working on some of these. This is going to be rough. I might have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew here. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and get a critical hit gem in there. I don't have high hopes here. Uh, this is not really keeping up. They're getting further and further in. I mean, I can combine these. I can't afford to upgrade it. But I can do that. I don't see this happening. Yeah, there's just a little too many. Alright, let's um go back to the map, and I'm gonna do this again. But I'm just going to... Um, wait, that's not what I meant to do. I guess I got some achievements. Um, what I want to do... I... Would consider putting a few things in here, but I think the best thing to do is to just um, only use this trait. I think that, so that should essentially make it twice as easy. Um, I'm hoping that that'll be good enough. All right, this should go a lot quicker this time because I know exactly what my plan is. Okay, so we're gonna gem bomb here. build a wall there while I'm thinking about it. We're going to wall this off. We're going to wall this off. We're going to wall this off. And we're going to wall this. This is not endurance mode. Endurance 
endurance mode with 12. All right. <laughs> yeah, um, I noticed because... Uh, this, this wasn't there. Um, if I click right here, can I eventually... No, it always gets both of them, it seems. Alright. Wall, 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 and... I think, um, and here as well. I think that's everything for now. Um, I want to put that in there. I want to get all my mana gems working. This is pretty much critical to my long-term success. Okay, and then we're going to have this upgraded. And I think the next move is to get another gem in here. And then potentially we'll get another tower with another grade 2 gem in it. We just need a lot of stuff firing on these. Alright, uh, this should be quite a bit easier. Let's give it another shot. Uh, we're still going to have the same number of monsters coming through, but they're coming at half speed. Um, I think what I'll do is just save up to um, enough to duplicate this. And then we'll get that there and get this on it. And I think what I want to do is go ahead and build another tower and get another grade 2 or grade 3 gem shooting some of these monsters, depending on how these seem to be holding up. So these seem to be holding up pretty well. So maybe I can go ahead and focus on upgrading. Yeah, they were just coming a bit too fast. Alright, um... Since I don't seem to be in any immediate danger, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade these trap gems to level 2. Um, and what's the effect of bolt and traps? Does extra damage. I don't really care about that. So let's just get all of these upgraded to level 2. Okay, that's bringing in a lot of mana now. And then I'm just going to focus on... We only have to bait beat 50 waves. Okay, now we got more monsters coming in. So let's do another tower. Um, let's just take a copy of this. Okay, and now I think it's time to start building amplifiers. So let's do an amplifier here. And I'm going to do... Copy of that in there. So from the amplifiers, it's getting... Six to damage, an extra one range, plus 0.27 shots per second. Oh, that's actually a significant portion of its firing speed. All right, for right now, I'm just going to focus on leveling this up. Uh, let's get these upgraded to grade five.
Okay, and I'm just gonna let it play while I throw in some more stuff here. Grade six. About halfway through. Looks like we got a lot of swarm links coming. Um make that grade six. Let's go ahead and quickly focus this down and then we'll do the monsters. I think what I'm going to do, how much do amplifiers cost? Not that much yet. I'm going to do another couple of amplifiers. I'm going to put a tower here. And we're going to grab a copy of this. And put it there. Get that upgraded to just grade 4 is fine for now. And let's grab some copies of these. Um... Let my mana build up a little bit before I create another copy here. Alright, this thing has a huge range now. Let's try to create some additional... Let's see, so... Additional monsters. Additional hit points. Wow, that's a lot of extra armor. How much damage am I dealing? Plus 4.7 XP per cal. Alright, well, I'll try it for a bit and see if this works out. Okay, they already seem to have a lot more armor. I'm not sure about this. Let's take that out for right now. Um... Once I get 8,600, I can upgrade. Oh, wow. This is bad. Okay. I seriously underestimated the effects of just doing one enrage. All right. I hope this is going to be enough to take out some of these. Oof. That really hurt. Okay. Well, they're no longer enraged. Um, actually, I might have just completely ruined this. Everything was going so smoothly, and now um, I'm not going to be able to kill those ones because they're just going to keep going through. They have insanely high levels of armor. All right. Uh, let's upgrade this and combine it in here. Let's just create a pure armor tearing. I don't know what I've got this mana gem here for. Put that in place and set it to highest armor. And I don't know if that's going to do enough, but hopefully it'll be enough. I think bolts ignore armor too, right? So every time a bolt comes up... Uh, actually, let's just... Um, let's deal with this now. Let's combine these. I don't have that charged right now. That was a big mistake. Um... Let's set this to highest banishment cost. And as soon as this is done, I'll charge it. Uh, I don't lose immediately. And I think that one enrage just completely ruined my chances here. Oh well. I'll let it run until I lose 500 structures, 50 battles won. I could have had a lot more experience. I didn't realize just how powerful that would be. All right, well, I'm happy to pass on this map for now. Let's see, do I have any uh, stashes to open? Okay, here's one. Um, let's attempt it real quick just with this. I might even have to tone this one down a bit.
All right. So they can come from either here or over here. So clearly I want to wall off here so that everything coming from this side has to go this way. There's only four squares here, so not enough room to have them go in and back out. Not to have these go over here, back in, and then around again. Uh, let's see. It's a pre-existing amplifier here. I could get one of these lanterns really charged up. All right, I'm gonna drop this because I already have a source of purple. Um, not gonna get rid of this one because Let's see, this is pure purple. How much mana do I need? Just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to ditch this just to immediately have level 4 mana pool. I think that's probably worth it. I'm going to set this blue off to the side in case I want it later. So right now I'm just thinking about whether I want to try to do this lantern thing or if I just want to kind of ignore the lanterns and go for just a normal kill tower. Um, and I think I'm just going to go the kill tower route. Um, one thing that would be tempting is to just drop uh, pure mana steel into these lanterns um, and then just sort of half-heartedly have the things go around them. And then I think what I'll do is I'll put the kill tower up here um, in a position where it can also target things coming in from this side. Okay, so let's get mana gems in there. Might as well amplify that one. So I probably want the kill tower right here. And let's go with um, mana leeching and armor tearing. And let's see here. So what I need to do is wall from here to here, essentially. That'll bring everything in range. Then I can uh, later add some more, but this is just enough to get it in range where it can start to shoot at these things when it's not shooting at other things. All right, let's give this a shot and see how the early game goes. Um, I might have to readjust here. Now, didn't I choose this because there's a stash? Am I missing something? Oh my gosh, it's journey mode again. I don't understand how I keep doing that. Endurance mode, 12, start the battle. All right, hopefully things haven't changed too much in the endurance version. 
Okay, so there's a stash. Um, looks like there's no barrier here now. But that shouldn't really matter. This is walled off. Things are going around here. Okay, so this should be pretty much the same. Um, I don't have access to starting gems, but that's not that big of a deal. All right, one, two, three. Uh, we're going to need to wall this off. And eventually I'll extend that there. Let's go ahead and figure out where this is going to go. I think I decided on here. Uh, we're going to need to block this. Actually, maybe I should just leave it open for right now. How hard is this going to be to kill? Um, Not that hard. I'm just going to have to set up a level 1 armor tearing gem um, pretty early on. Just to gradually take the armor down. We have 50 waves to beat it, assuming I can actually get through 50 waves. Alright, let's get this thing upgraded. Um, it's only going to be grade 3. We're in significantly worse shape than we were last time. So I'll just do that. Okay, we need to save up to 1,076. If I can get this upgraded, then I'm guessing we'll be okay. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. Um, I can pretty much immediately... I have to let... That's gonna get the orblet, so it's okay to go ahead and upgrade this and power it up. Hopefully... Yeah, okay. It was able to clean up a bunch of that stuff. Now, I'm either going to need to upgrade these, or I think what would make more sense... Um, I'm going to need something to deal with all these swarmlings. Set up a tower here. Oof. This is a little rough. I think I'm okay. I'm just not making any progress on anything right now, though. Yeah, I think this is... Should have been using these uh, bolts. Alright, I let a little bit too much through, and that's probably going to come back to haunt me. But for right now, let's start uh, powering this up. Go ahead and use this for right now. This is going to cost 2100 but I don't think I can afford to wait that long. I'm going to give it a little bit more time to see not very much is getting through right now. I can just get up to 2,100 without anything getting through. Okay, I think I'm there. Uh, 152. Okay, I think, I think I made it. Upgrade that. Enhance it. It should take care of most of this stuff. Let's take a break to kill this apparition. Okay, I think I actually did it. All right, that was really close. Um, let's go ahead and get started on this. And I want to start working on making this a super kill tower. 
Um, let's see. We need 4,304 this time. I think it's worth it to go ahead and wait for that now. Got an apparition up here that I'm probably just going to let go. How much health does that have? Yeah, I don't think I can afford to mess around with that right now. Let's just get up to level 6, maybe. And I'm going to focus on upgrading a bunch of stuff. Alright, we can do this. We can give it a... Extra range. Build another amplifier. Duplicate one of these. How's this going? Perfect. That's going to be done soon. I'm saving up for 8,600 now. I need to keep getting this higher tier before I worry too much about building more amplifiers. Preferably before all of this mess comes in. Uh, let's get that upgraded and enhanced. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Just barely managed to clear those out. This is going to be finished soon. much does the next one cost? Uh, too much right now. Probably start upgrading some of these to tier 3. Let's clear out... Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I think this is going okay-ish. Go ahead and get all these upgraded to tier 3. Let's get another amplifier. And let's put another one of those in. Oh, that costs a thousand. Alright, is this done yet? Not quite. Uh, let me just finish this off real quick. Just in case something goes wrong. Uh, I'd rather have that be done. Let's force these to go the long way around now. Uh, I think I'm going to try to save up 16,000 because, yeah, I've got 16 more waves to go. I think I can hold off long enough to get 16,000. Maybe not. It's a lot of enemies getting through. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, let's throw this here to get rid of all these walls I shouldn't have put there. And I'll go ahead and put another one. These cost a thousand each. And let's make sure we're getting those. Alright, that costs only 2,000 to build the last amplifier. I think that's probably worth it. Need 1,000 to... Oh man. I don't know. This is uh, getting rough. Amplify a gem with 8 other gems. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to make it too much further. Um, I can't really do anything here. But that's fine, we made it to wave 40. Thousand waves, kill a monster. With shots blinking to the monster attacking your orb that would otherwise destroy your orb. Okay. Uh, yeah, but then the very next one probably got my orb, so it's not really that big of a deal.
1,000 waves total. And I am just not getting good fragments recently. 440 cores, though. So, when I do go to do that, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Uh, we have another stash right here in R2. Let's see if we can do this under the same conditions. Um... Okay, this is going to require a powerful gem. And we don't have a way to get through armor. Other than making our damage high. So we're just going to make a kill gem here. I'm not going to worry about these traps. I don't really care about them. Uh, we're just going to make one super gem. And just try to maze off the area in front of it. Um, I don't think I should build an amplifier right from the start. Just get this upgraded. Alright, so there's going to be an amplifier down here. All the way out to this point. So we're probably going to want to do something like force them... to go around this square. Go ahead and speed this up. Just see if this can even handle this first part. I'll build an amplifier there, just to help with the mazing, uh, get this started. I'll later combine something into that, but I need to get a little bit of a maze started here. So it's going to have to clear up this way. Okay, that should be good for now. Um, then I can make more walls going down this way and just uh, make this longer and longer. But for right now, I want to get this up to grade 4. I'm going to save up 2,000. And one of my priorities here is to get this... Um, yeah, I need to get this strong enough to be able to kill this. Uh, let's put a bolt in here for right now, just to help out a little bit clearing that stuff out. Probably let this go up to level 4 and then upgrade this gem. Let's get this to be a dual gem, and let's throw another amplifier down. These cost, what, 500 to, or 300 to duplicate. That's not bad. All right, we got a bunch of swarmlings coming in. I'm just going to put this in just for the fire rate. And I'm going to start building my maze out a little more.
me put this down to regular play so that I can find the right opportunity to place that. Okay, let's just go all the way down here. Force them to go in that way. Um, that's probably enough for now. I can continue to expand this maze later on. Uh, let's get this in here just to help out killing some of that stuff. We can go back to fast now. Alright, we made it through that little rush. Let's get another amplifier in for more range and fire speed. Next is 4300. So yeah, I'm going to save up to that. That should get us one or two more levels in the mana pool. Uh, looks like there's an apparition spawning again. Good, it's right next to my gem. Go ahead and take it out. Get it up to level 6, and then we'll upgrade. Uh, put another enhancement on there. And I think it's time to do another amplifier, and then possibly... Let's see, what's the damage on this thing? Um, bolts ignore armor, right? Let's just see what happens if I target this. Okay, that was fast. All right, well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I can either do another amplifier or start mazing more. Let's uh, put another amplifier in here. And duplicate this. All right, I think we're in good shape here. Even if we lose, um, you know, we still did the part that needed to be done. Uh, it looks like adding some additional mazing would be helpful here. So let's switch back to slow mode. Guess I can just go ahead and do this area up here where nothing's in the way. All right, so now they all have to go up there, and um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to just force them to come from this side. So the ones up here will go probably all the way around, and then they'll all come in from the... Yeah, maybe that's not the best, actually. I'm probably not going to need more amazing than this for the rest of the time, and it's gotten to the point where it's costing me 62 per wall, so... Probably makes more sense to put that into more amplifiers. Alright, let's go ahead and get another amplifier in here. And duplicate that. Um, I either want to save up 8,600 or I want to start upgrading these. Um, let's upgrade them. I'm gonna need a lot of fire rate for all these swarm links. Now, even with that huge area that they have to traverse, quite a few of them still got through. Like this is a pretty large collection. Okay, should be able to get up to 8,000 now and upgrade. Let this get up to level 7. Okay, we can upgrade this, get that with a bolt enhancement. That's going to take care of all that stuff. Um, I guess I'll save up for more amplifiers. If another set of swarmlings comes, which is down here, I probably will extend the maze more, but there's no rush right now. Okay, let's uh, duplicate this. And once we have a thousand mana, we'll do that again. One more amplifier to go. It costs uh, 2,000.
Looks like the swarmlings are almost here. Um, it does have a pretty long range. I guess I could maze on both sides and leave this open. So what would that look like? So here they would have to come through this a couple of times. Really can't do much more meaningful than that on this side. And then, because there's still a lot of range here, we could say, well, these are going to be coming up this way, so we could force everything on this side to go down this way. Um, why is it not letting me do that? Okay, that's uh, pretty much at the edge of that range anyway. And an achievement for building way too many walls. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. We can go ahead and get our last amplifier. We can get a copy of this and put it in there. All right. I don't think we're going to run into too much trouble. Let's uh, go ahead and use a bolt to have a huge range. Just go ahead and start killing everything. So it looks like everything from down here has decided to go this way. It's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to achieve. Uh, let's just wall it off. We've got another apparition coming somewhere. Looks like we might actually make it all the way to the end. Got a lot of stuff through there. Um, let's see. Would require... Now let's go and get all these up to level 4, I think. And let's see, that's going to be in range of the bolt. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I don't really want to focus that, actually. As soon as I have... Yeah, these are getting really tough to deal with. Uh, if I can clear this out in time... All right, we're just going to go for it. That's uh, a lot of experience. These cost a thousand upgrade. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these done. Yeah, even if I can't beat these last few waves, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, one thing I could consider, this is grade seven. Um, so... Two of these is grade five, four is grade six, eight is grade seven. So I could just combine everything. Um, yeah, let's do it. I've got a power up to use here. I think this is my best shot at getting further. Okay, so now I have a grade 8 gem. It's the first time I've done that, apparently, because I got an achievement. Now I should be able to still place some low-grade gems in here. Um, one thing I didn't consider, these are all going to take some time to charge up. Uh, I'm going to save a little bit of mana in reserve. All right, hopefully I didn't stretch this too much. If I lose here, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's fine. I think I was going to lose either way. Okay, so we got some achievements for putting amplifiers next to the orb. One hit kills. 
Huh, this is the first time we found three in one field. 60 walls, grade 8 gem, grade 8. Okay, so not terrible, but not great. Uh, I don't really care about that one, and I don't really care about that one. Yeah, just not very happy with these. Um, there was no... I guess the stash had fragments. All right, well, that one took a bit longer than I, ex I expected, so we're up well over an hour for this episode. Um, we've still got several stashes, several things we could do endurance mode on. Actually, I guess there's only a couple of stashes left. Three that I haven't collected yet, and these fields are going to be um, quite a bit harder, I think, since they're close to the end of what I had reached before. Uh, but this is now essentially two hours of playtime, uh, I think, that I have just put into powering up on previous fields. So it's likely that I'll just be able to go ahead and start to clear out some of these um, new fields in the next episode. Uh, new episodes are coming out every other day. Um, and thanks for watching, guys.